Hey guys, today's video is a Dollar Tree haul and I can't wait to share with you guys all the new finds that I've been seeing in my stores. Welcome back to Ria's World of Ideas. If you are new to my channel, I am Ria, and on my channel I love sharing all the ideas that I find helpful in my life and home, and hopefully you'll find them helpful in your life and home as well. So if you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave this video, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're always notified on all the new videos that I put out. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it so that I'm able to bring more videos to you guys in the future that you guys would like. So with all that being said, let's just jump into today's video. And like I said, today's video is a Dollar Tree haul. And I know some of you guys have not seen me for a while. Um, I have just been going through some things. I don't want to talk about it in this video because this is a Dollar Tree haul and I don't want to take up too much time. I know y'all came here for the haul. But if you do want to know what's been going on in my life, just let me know any questions you have down below. If you want me to do a QA, and a if you want me to do a day in the life, let you know what happened. I'm glad to share that with you guys. But today is all about the Dollar Tree stuff and the haul. Um, I have a lot of Christmas stuff and I know that I'm sharing this stuff with you guys late. It's just, I know a lot of people have already shared the Christmas things that they had at Dollar Tree, but for some reason my stores were very slow to bring the new things in. They were bringing in other stuff that, I've, that they've had in the past, um, but for the new stuff it was very slow coming in. So I'm sorry for that, but I wanted to share with you guys still what I found just so you guys are on the lookout for it. And I still will be bringing you guys some DIYs, but it'll be early this um, this week. and so. Hopefully, I know it's late in um, it's late in Christmas time, but um, like I said, I've, I've been going through some things, so that's why it got delayed. But anyways, let's jump into the haul. I do have a lot of Christmas stuff. I do have some other stuff that's not Christmas related, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys. But let's just jump into the Christmas stuff. So the first thing I want to share with you guys is you guys know if you've been following me for a while that I decorate my office slash craft room in like pinks, whites, blacks and marble so when i saw these little pink christmas trees i had to get it because i wanted to decorate this background with some christmas and also my desk and shelves that i have in my office with some christmas stuff but i didn't want to i don't like to change up the color palette in my um in my craft room on in my slash office when it comes to christmas so i do want to stick with the pink so when i saw these little winter village co um, cobblestone corners which they have been bringing some stuff that brand they've been bringing so many things to dollar tree before little houses little trees stuff like that this year they have so many more things that i'm going to share with you in this video so you definitely got to go check it out but the one thing that they brought out was these miniature trees and one of them was in pink and so look at these, these are little pink trees. You get three in a pack and then they have the little peppermints at the bottom. And I think these are so cute. I think I might color the peppermints a different color only because like I said, um, this room that I have is decorated in mostly like pinks, blacks and whites and marbles. So I think I might um, put them black. Um, because I'm going to surround them with snow. Hopefully you guys can see the detail. But I'm going to surround them with snow. And so I, feel, I figured with the black it will probably stand out. And it might not even show. Because if I cover it with snow it probably wouldn't even show. But I just feel like to me um, when I'm decorating with my color tones. I don't want to add just red into it. Because I want to stay with the color tones. So I got these. I actually got two packs of these. So you'll see me make some DIYs. Some creations. Not, not really DIYs. But like a decor idea for you guys. With those trees. Another thing that I found, um, they've had them before, but I wanted to share with you guys these again, in case you didn't know, were they have so many ornaments now in Dollar Tree, so many great ornaments. You need to check them out, some new ones, stuff that I didn't necessarily need, but they are just gorgeous, beautiful. You could use them for ornaments or you could use them for DIYs. And I feel like they're such a great price, better than like Walmart Target. So definitely check out all the new ornaments that Dollar Tree has. And don't just go to one store, check, try them all. But these, I love them so much. They come two in a pack two for a dollar and a dollar 25 sorry and they are just so beautiful i love them you can spray paint them and do so many things with them i've seen people do like shadow boxes and different types of scenery with this and i think this is like you could take this and make it more than just an ornament i hope you guys can see it i'm trying to put my hand behind it so you guys can see it but i hope uh like i hope you guys can see it but anyways I think that this is like more than just an ornament. Like I said, you could do it with DIYs. You could take this up a notch and just do so many like shadow boxes and different type of decors with this. Um, so I grabbed two of those because I kind of have an idea. Hopefully it works out and I'll get it to you guys soon. Like I said, I'm gonna try my best to get it out soon. Um, they also had from the cobblestone, uh, I hope I'm saying the right, cobblestone? Cobblestone corner, I hope. I'm um, saying it right. They also had this tree and these are the light up, their LED light up trees. They came in different colors. I, I forgot the other colors that came in, but I love the gray because um, like I said, I decorate 
black, white, marble, and then sometimes uh, pink and then gray too also in my craft room. So to have the little gray trees, I thought was perfect as well. Um, there you go. So you guys can see it. So this is a little light of gray trees and I didn't take out the, the thing until hopefully it works because I wanted to make sure that it stays working. So yes. So they light up like this and you see they change colors. They go to green. Um, the first one was red. So they, I think these are going to be really cute. You could put these in like little jars. Um, you could put them in those little, um, I forgot what those huge little like, um, not apothecary jars. It's like escaping right now. I made one for you guys during Easter time and it's escaping me right now. But you guys will see me make decorate that with these trees. Um, what is it called? It's like one of those things with like the little lids on them. They're huge. If you guys know what I'm talking about, put it down in the comments down below. But anyways, I made one for Easter for you guys with Dollar Tree products and it's a huge one. And I'm going to decorate the inside of it with little trees, kind of like make a little snow village with these trees and the pink trees and different things. So stay tuned for that. I also have all of these on Instagram too, as far as like a little like shorts and stuff like little um, videos. So if you want to see like little videos of my DIYs, uh, like quick, straight to the point, then, you know, check me out on Instagram, follow me and check out my reels there. But if you want to see more detail, I always put more detail on my, um, my YouTube channel. So another ornament that I loved was these huge little like tags. This one said happy holidays. They come with so many more of these, but I love the, when it comes, when it comes to decorating the rest of my house, I love the white and the red for, um, and the black too for, um, for the holidays down for the holidays downstairs in my own oh, I'm getting tired for the holidays downstairs in the rest of my house I like to do the you know the the traditional colors of red and um white and black sorry guys I haven't been on the camera for a long time so I forgot how to talk but I love this color tone and this color palette kind of like the wood grain I think these would be perfect to make DIYs you can actually make different type of DIYs with this but what I plan to do with it is I also want to make some fake gifts to go under the tree and I think these will be cute little tags to go on those fake gifts and because it's so huge it makes a statement and you can see it um, but you can do so many different things with this and like I said they come with so many different um, other sayings and other color tones color palettes so definitely check that out another ornament that I thought was so cute that I'm going to make a DIY out of is this one right here this one also comes in different colors but I really like the silver one with the with the little greenery and you know whenever I like my greenery I like it when it's flocked and when I say flocked it basically looks like it's been snowed on and I love the little red berries so this is like my color tone palette like I love like I said the whites the reds and some blacks in it and if I am going to add some um type of silver or gold it's always going to be silver because I feel like silver goes more with white so I got two of those to make a DIY for you guys so stay tuned for that hopefully like these DIYs will come out in time for you guys. I'm sorry if they don't, but definitely the first week of Christmas, of December. This I saw, I thought was so cute. And I thought, um, I wish they had more, um, different, um, more different, not characters, more different, uh, holiday designs, I guess. They only had the Christmas tree. I wish they would have had like maybe a star, uh, uh, ornament or something like that. You know, different, um, different, uh, Christmas things but they only had the Christmas tree and it was in gold which I like it because um, it will go upstairs here with my craft room which I do gold so this is an LED light that will light up and I de uh, definitely plan to add that to one of my DIYs so stay tuned for that I got two of those I think this is such a great buy you could put this in a jar you could put this in an apothecary jar you could put this on your shelf and it lights up and it adds a little touch you know of the Christmas thing this is really cute of course, I wish it was bigger, but, you know, to have a light, something like that from Dollar Tree for $1.25, of course, it's going to be smaller. These little picks, I can't remember if I saw them last year or if they, the ones that I had last year are different from these, but I love these. You get six in them and they're the mini pine picks. You can do so many things with this. DIYs, you could decorate your shelf with this. You could put it in a vase. You could put it in a jar. You could do so many things with this. I love this one because it has... The green that I like to use for Christmas time, um, and it has like a little. They have little specks of glitter in it, so it might be really glittery. Um, but I do have some plans for it. But let me know in the comments down below what else I could do with this. If you guys have any ideas for these, I think these are adorable. Well, I think and you get six in a pack. So besides a wreath, what else would you guys do with this? Like besides a wreath, and besides, I want to put it like right here to decorate like the bottom part. Um, besides those two things, what would you guys do with that? Let me know in the comments down below what your ideas are with those picks. Like what you guys would do. Um, I picked up some of these to, um, kind of 
and the stuff is falling off, which I don't mind because I'm going to take it off anyway. I picked up two of these because I plan to do a DIY for you guys, so stay tuned for that. I love these little things. Um, these are just like little ornaments that you can hang up. They just call them, I guess, decor. Yeah, it's just decor. It's the little ones that you can hang up, but I plan to transform it into something different, so stay tuned for that. Um, they have so many of these. They have this gingerbread one, which at first I didn't pick up because I was like, mm, I don't need it. I really didn't like the colors. But then when I wanted it, I found out, um, I went back and they were gone. So like I always tell you guys, if you see something at Dollar Tree that you want, grab it right then and there or you'll never like see it again because they go fast. But they have a bunch of new ones of these. But like I said, all these little pieces have been falling off. Um, but you can always hot glue them back on. So don't even worry about that. But I plan to take these off anyway because I'm going to do a DIY with them. Another thing that I thought was so cute, which I'm not going to use it for what it's intended for. Um... It's going to be for a DIY, but I think it's so cute. It's a scarf. They have these little, like, uh, scarves, and they make, if you can hear them, they're, like, jingle bell scarves. I think these are so cute. I think if you get these for the kiddos or yourself, they will love it. Um, but, again, I got it for a DIY, so stay tuned to see what I'm going to do to transform this. But I think this is so cute. I have seen this in stores and Target and um, Walmart and other places for, like, 20 bucks, And you can get this for Dollar Tree at $1.25, a scarf, and you can also DIY with it. Um, another thing that I saw was they always bring out different placemats and normally the placemats that they have, um, they have designs on them that really don't go with the color scheme that I like. But I liked this one. This one is like a different type of color scheme. It's kind of like this color scheme that I decorate with. I don't decorate too much with these this green as opposed to like the tree will be green but I like to, my tree is flocked so it's more like white with the little specks of green. Um, this one had like a little hint of green but it had mostly of the red and the black in it i love this pattern but what i also love about this is that i wanted to get some type of fabric that was all red to make something and the back is all red so you can use both sides so if you have a diy in mind that you want something that's all red you can take this and use the back side of this or you can use this beautiful print as well that goes with the Christmas season. They also had two other prints. I can't remember what it was. I haven't been able to take pictures for you guys lately because um, I've just been wanting to go in and out of the store and not really go in there. And also there's so many new things at Dollar Tree that I feel like if I'm taking pictures for you guys of all the new things that I've seen, I will be having pictures for days. So all I can say to y'all is I encourage y'all to go out there and to go check everything out because it's there's so many new things. Um, some other stuff that they got were these little decor pieces that I think are so adorable. They're 3D and I got them to make them over. I'm not going to keep them like that with this tinsel, but I like this because this could be a tabletop decor. It could also be um, on the shelf. You could put it in a puff carry jar, anything else, um, and you can make it over, which I plan to do. So stay tuned for that. So I got the tree one that there i also got this boot this boot is really cute it's you know you could put stuff in it as well it could be a holder for something else it says merry christmas um it looks cute just as is with the tinsel but i'm not really a tinsel person so i plan to make this over so stay tuned for that to see how that's gonna be they also this year had these new little like ceramic trees they came in this gold color and also a green color i didn't see any other color that's the only two colors i saw and they also come in three different designs and but I like this one the most. This one was like for me, I just like the this this kind of design the most. The other ones were okay, but this one to me looked more like a tree. And it came in gold, so I plan to keep it gold for my craft room. But you can also spray paint it and turn it into anything that you guys want. These things were new this year, and I was so happy to scoop them up and find them. They are these um stand up reindeer. They come in like this plaid kind of checkered um design. You get one in red but they also have it in green. Of course, I'm not going to keep it that color. I plan to make it over, so stay tuned for that. But they are stands, so I like that you can have something. This can make a big statement on you know, a shelf or if you want to put it again in, type, in some type of scenery. Um, you can use it for either or, and you can easily make it over into whatever color that you want. So don't think that just because it's in this plaid kind of color and that's not your style, you can still make it over into anything that you want because that's what I plan to do. Another thing that was real cute this year that also stands up is these little felt um, decor, these little felt decor trees. And they come in different colors. I think the other one was green, I couldn't, um, but I can't remember. And they come in different like plaid, um, plaid designs. As you can see, this one has this type of plaid design. It looks like a pillow top and then it has like this wood bottom. 
And so it has that on this side, but it also has just the red on the other side. So I like the fact that it, you know, I decorate in reds. I can just keep this red side. I do plan to paint the base. It's probably going to be white or black. I don't know because you guys know I go for both colors. And then this one has a different type of plaid um, design too. So when you see them, don't just pick them up and think that they have the same kind of plaid, um, plaid design. These two are different. Um, but like I said, if you're like me and you don't like the plaid looking trees, you can always just have turn it over and have the red side and then you can paint this to whatever color you like as well. So that's what I plan to do. I plan to make it over. Um, they also had the white trees, which they've always had every year. I've never bought them before, but my daughter this year wants to have a Christmas tree in her room and she's going for like the pink themed as well. So she wanted a white tree. So whenever you buy the Dollar Tree trees, make sure you buy two of them because one of them is pretty skimpy so you want to put two together um to give it more full and i will got i will show you guys in a video on how we're going to do that um on the video put them, them together so you guys can see how full they can make it um so you can see how full to make it uh she also wanted a little tree topper so she got this little gold star which is real cute also there a dollar tree and then she wanted some ornaments and we found this this was like my oldest daughter found this and this is the only one they had in the store i was super surprised and excited because i normally don't see this pretty pink um at dollar tree i always see like a bright pink or like you know the, like you know the, just the, the hot pinks but this champagne pink you normally don't see it in dollar tree you probably see it in like walmart target so the fact that we found some gold and pink ornaments um they were like a champagne pink were I mean, we were just so excited but we only found one pack i wish we would have found the little ones to go on the tree um the mini ones but they didn't have the mini ones in this color so we are going to decorate it with these so hopefully it doesn't tip over hopefully everything works out well um so that is for that and also for the trees my daughters wanted to add some flowers to it so my oldest daughter again found one poinsettia these gold champagne looking poinsettias there was only one left like my daughter was just like on the hunt like my oldest daughter was just just finding all the nice pink stuff because we like the little champagne pink and these were the only pink poinsettias and they have like the little gold as you can see in the middle and then we're going to put that in the tree as well and we're also going to put these gold berries so these gold like sparkly berries which i was upset because when we got home we found out that one was missing so but we're going to make it work so that's going to go on the tree as well you see i have my pile over here of stuff to do um also that i wanted to share with you guys is that when if you are making different christmas trees at dollar tree definitely go check out the craft section and grab these little like cones these little craft cones because you can make so many different trees with them and they go pretty fast around this um this time so you want to grab them as soon as you see them so i grabbed some as far as like to make some diy so stay tuned for that also what i saw in the christmas section which i don't know if dollar tree has this all year round but I noticed it because they put it in the Christmas section. And I think they put it in the holiday section because of Christmas was these twisted candles, guys. These are gorgeous. These red and white twisted candles. As you can see, look at the detail on them. I normally don't buy candles like this. But when I saw that, I was like, oh, my God, they are so gorgeous, so beautiful for Christmas time to have these beautiful red ones and these beautiful white ones. And you can, you know, basically do whatever you want. You put it on a little, um, get some candle stands because Dollar Tree has a bunch of different candle holders to hold these type of pillar candles. Usually I never buy them, but now I'm going to be on the lookout for them because I've seen on Dollar Tree hauls a lot of people have been hauling these beautiful candle holders that hold these type of candles. So this will make a nice little st statement on your shelf, on your dining room table, the kitchen, anywhere. It's just so pretty and they kind of look like candy canes to me. So I feel like this was like perfect for Christmas. So I grabbed those. Stay tuned to see how I decorate with them. And then I also finally found a, normally I never find the mats, but I finally found this mat that said Santa stop here. And they also had a bunch of different ones, but this is the one that I like. And so the, when you grab, when you see these at um, Dollar Tree, if you want to grab them, because these go fast, because the mats tend to be more expensive than the store. So people, when they see these, they want to grab them and, um, you know, scoop them up. So this was the last one that says Santa stop here. So I thought that was really, really cute. So I grabbed that and then I also grabbed some of this ribbon for DIYs because you can never go wrong with like if you're making DIYs you want this candy cane ribbon. So I think oh and last thing for Christmas and then I'll show you the, the other things that I just picked up random. They always have these cute little like um, things um, in the crafter square like you can paint your own ornaments. Normally I don't get this, but my daughters would really like wanted to actually do them. So my daughter is, um, I have one that's 13, one that's 16, turned 17. And they were like, they really wanted to paint their own ornaments. Now they don't use this paint because this paint doesn't work, but you know, I have my own paints and stuff. So we have better paint. I mean, you could use these for the little ones, but they, you know, 
I would recommend getting de definitely a better paintbrush. But we had um, got all the three different designs they had. So this one is a um, a glove, I mean a glove, a mitt, and a um, stocking. So you have that where they can paint it. And I like these because sometimes when you want to make your own ornaments, sometimes when people are not as crafty and they can't make like the homemade ones and they come apart, these are already made for you. So then you can just grab them and the kids can just paint them and they're already made. Um, so you don't have to be, you know, so crafty to make your own homemade ones. You could just buy these and they're, you know, you get two for $1.25. Um, this one's the Christmas tree and the star, which is really cute as well. And then you can also use these for DIYs too. Don't just think they're just for ornaments. And then this one is the wreath and another ornament. So we got them all so that they can do it as a craft night. So I think they'll be cute. Now we're going to jump into the other things I got. So speaking of craft stuff, I saw this in the Crafter Square section. I was super excited because this is a paint and water cup um, like holder. I think this is amazing because whenever I'm doing crafts, um, whenever I'm doing DIYs for you guys, I always take my paint brushes after I'm done in a color. I always have like a water, a water cup nearby and I dip my paint brushes in the water cup because I found that some of the uh, the paints that I use, they harden on the paintbrushes really fast and then I can't get them off. So whenever I'm doing a DIY or a painting project, I always want to, as soon as I'm done with that color, I dip it in water so I can get that off and that way the paint is off immediately. So when I saw that they had this little holder that is like the water goes right here and then it has a little dividers. So they'll have, they have like one, two, they have four of them that's divided into two and then two of them that is, has its own. So if you have like more of, if you need to put more paint into that one, and it's a cute little container for $1.25. I think this is so, so cute. The only thing is I think I should have picked up another one because I feel like when we're painting, I should have like two at the table whenever we're doing like a big craft um, night or maybe three. So I'm going to go pick up another one. But I think this is such a great idea, especially if you're like me who's always crafting and painting and the paint just hardens on our paintbrushes and then it ruins our paintbrushes. So another thing I bought a while ago, I didn't want to share it with you guys until I tried it. So it's out of the box. Is this Sunbeam like um, electrical like strip plug and look at how many of the strips come on this guys this is huge i was surprised to see this for a dollar 25 you get so many plugs um that you could put on here and the different things you can do with them like i said i wanted to try it first before i showed you guys i have been using it it does work i i'm very weary about like um dollar tree plug stuff like this so i never keep this plugged in like when i'm not around so i use this one in my craft room right now so when i have to plug in my hot glue gun and all that other stuff but when i'm when i'm done with it i unplug it because like i said it's a dollar 25 so i don't trust these type of strips to for me i don't trust these type of strips to be plugged in all day long because you know you never know with it being a dollar 25 it can blow up you know or catch on fire so it's been good for me so far but like i said i always unplug it when i'm not using it um so that you know to prevent anything so i wanted to share that with you guys that they have this new strip but again be careful with them because it is from dollar tree and then the last thing that i picked up i wanted to share with you guys is these hooks um they're just regular hooks but me and the girls are making over their bathroom and these hooks are perfect for like if you guys want to start hanging like if you have a lot of children and you want to start hanging the towels on hooks as opposed to hanging it on a towel holder because there's not enough room so i'm going to be doing something with these um kind of like a diy i'm probably going to change it up see what the girls want if they just want just the hooks just on the wall i'm going to have it like that or if they want to kind of have it on like a plaque or something i might have it like a plaque or something with their name on it i don't know yet so stay tuned for that but these are amazing i do plan to spray paint them because i don't like the gray one so it's probably gonna be black um but that is it for my Dollar Tree haul, you guys. I, I'm sorry, um, I'm sorry. maybe I was tongue-tied. I haven't been on the camera in so long because I've been going through so uh, a lot of things that it's just I need to take a break. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Stay tuned. I will try my best to make these DIYs, these DIYs, see, I can't even talk, these DIYs as soon as possible for you guys so I can share with you guys the ideas I do have. It's not going to be many because I really do like the stuff that I made from last year. Um, so definitely check out the ones that I made last year. They came out really nice if you need some, you know, Christmas inspiration. And just let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see coming up on, on the channel, um, coming up this month, uh, you know, of videos um, because I make these videos for you guys. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.